There, there's also a couple uh, a couple recruits from Minnesota as well. So oh, a takeaway by Nia to interrupt you, Blaine, as Beverly gets two more. Finish with it, missed it short. Leshevsky controls a board for Wisconsin. Hilliard quickly ahead to Van Leeuwen. Van Leeuwen ran into trouble. Finds Hilliard for a jumper. It's pure. Sydney Hilliard, give her three. No doubt to go against a Wisconsin full court press like this. Nia Beverly off the offensive rebound. She has two tray bombs. Nia Beverly gives Wisconsin their largest lead, yet she's connected well. And Wisconsin really turning defense into offense right now. Van Leeuwen driving full head of steam. What a finish with the right hand for the Canadian. Coach Chippis is happy. A little push off, no call as Courtney Lee is entered, number 10 for the Hornets. Also entering the game is Taylor Eikerson, and she connects for three. Both Hornets and Badgers came ready to shoot off the pine. Freshman who just plays way beyond her year, Blaine. Always under control. Imani Lewis driving, dangerous with the left hand. Count it, and a foul. The problem, just taking it to the rim and seeing what she can do with it. A little bit of power there, as you see. Off of Makes. Wisconsin breaks it. Boy, the Badgers moving the basketball with serious pace, and it leads to Stapleton with a free layup. Hilliard goes in between two Hornets to come down with it. Ooh, the little shimmy shake, too. How about a floater as well? Oh, just give us everything, Sydney Hilliard. Freshman from Prague. Sydney Hilliard showing us the stuff to start really because of, you know, some inconsistencies with not being in that first five during practice playing. Down low bucket for Clark as she gets the mid-range game to fall. Hilliard goes on the ground to get it, but it ends up in the hands of Rudolph. Pushing are the Hornets, and it was thrown behind Crawford. Suzanne Gilrith the other way. Wisconsin, three on none. Rudolph working late, shot clock again, gets right by JP. How about the sweet finish, too, from Taisha Rudolph? Right to left as we get things started here in the second half. Rudolph driving on Imani Lewis, pulls up and sticks it. Taisha Rudolph, the sophomore. Oh, beautiful ball fake, the little Rondo fake, but couldn't finish it. That move made famous by Rajon Rondo. Now the other end, what did I say, Blaine? An easy layup on one end missed. How about an easy layup on the other end? I guess you should say experience for these players as they continue their career throughout Wisconsin. You saw Courtney Lee hit a jumper. Van Leeuwen sticks a three. Kendra Van Leeuwen improving her shooting stroke this year. Oh, I mean, I just man. hope she's okay. Boy, Wisconsin by 13. I laugh uncomfortably as Gilraith knocks down the right corner three. I can't imagine that Jonathan Sippers hasn't mentioned that at some point to her on that defensive side. Jonathan Sippers is nine. Beverly. Off the window for two and the foul. You know, she started at the beginning of the year. Is she talented enough to start for this team every single game? Absolutely. As here she is right now, I'll wait on my story time, but she delivers a nice dime. Hilliard losing control now, doubled. Quickly finds Stapleton, Gilreath. Open high, arcing, and down the microwave, Suzanne Gilreath. Top of the key, it's Crawford. She's 0 for 4 today, five points though. Pulls up looking for her first field goal and she sticks it. Five quick ones. Alabama State once again starting the quarter. Unnecessary turnover right there for Wisconsin. Unforced. I mean, Blaine, it's hard. they played Arkansas, a team that was ranked number 24 at that time. Wisconsin had a lead going into the fourth quarter and blew it and lost the game. And another turnover there off the full court pressure from the Hornet. Almost lost it. She's been sloppy here as of late and she turns it over to Van Leeuwen. All of a sudden, Wisconsin out and running. Nye Beverly, three on one. Count it. And the foul, Nia Beverly. Wisconsin gets four right back. The play before. And there is Beverly driving. And good call for you there on the block chart. Nia Beverly getting back to her old self as Ayana Emanuel, the swack freshman of the year last year. Instead, Wisconsin threw Posh Pishalova. Oh, a little shimmy shake. The dime. No finish from Stoffaker ruining what would have been a highlight assist. And oh, JP just wanted three, didn't she? But two, the speed of a D1 game, and it's the, so much faster it, than intramurals. I mean, what am I talking about here with my intramural refing experience? As <laughs> Nia Beverly finishes with contact, as Nia Beverly doing work inside, taking contact, still finishing. The Alabama State Hornets maybe maybe a pick to finish fourth in women's basketball in the conference. Who's finishing first every single time? As we get a fast break for the Hornets here and counter in the foul. Two seconds left. Clark nowhere to go with it. But if it goes, it does not go. Wisconsin, it was up, it was down. 
but it was a win.